Yo, what's going on there guys? Welcome back to another Salford City career mode video. I am yours, the Hawkeye Punisher, and we're here with another episode. We are on January the 15th. Obviously, we had a very tough month last month and the beginning of this one. As you can see, we lost our first two games against Scunthorpe and Carlisle. That Carlisle game honestly broke me. Honestly, it just pissed me off to no end and I just want to get that episode out of my mind we did uh, we did win our other three games in our episode but also if you saw in the previous episodes we got knocked out of the cups we lost 2-1 uh, in the in the league to Stevenage we had a bit of a blip in our season we've had a very very good season as you can clearly see by the table we are 13 points clear Obviously, it, like, the four teams below us have got a game in hand. If Cambridge and Bolton win their games in hand, they'll also go three points closer, so we'll be ten points clear. But that double point gap is so important, because honestly, if we get out of the rest of this month clean, and maybe February, I think we're... I don't think we can be catched. And if you look there, we have Bolton. We may get to that, or it might end it. That might be the one next episode, but we'll see. And obviously, we haven't. I don't think we have. We do have Cambridge, but that's later on in April. So, and also, as you can see, we really don't have that much money. I cannot promise I'm going to do any transfer business. I am scouting a few people. I'm trying to find pre pre contracts and people we can actually sign for next season. But honestly, unless someone leaves, I don't think we're going to be doing much. But regardless, I'm going to get straight into the first action. Colchester is 17th. I'm hoping we can get the, get the job done with my first team. Are we going to get a dub to start this episode off right? Okay, it's not lost, but the sim games are proper screwing me over right now. Tory loan. This is what really annoys me is when you get loan offers for basic. Well, actually, I'm thinking about this now. I think I thought it was Toure as a, my left back, but I'm going to do Toure, obviously because I've uh, just brought up my youth academy in Janssen, he's going to probably be my backup, so you know what, I wonder if we can get him out on a two year loan, one it will help us for this season, but also help us for next season, because he'll still be out on loan, and he's 21, he could get better, he might be someone we'll sell on, but we'll see, as you can see there, we're on 30 games, I don't know how many games, thing is for League 2 and League 1 and Championship, there is so many games to get through and this is why I, ha I have to sim quite a few games, otherwise it will take us, we'll probably be in like the 30 episode mark before we actually get out of the first season, it's ridiculous. But anyway, 2 year loan, Crawley Town, they want uh, Mamadou Toure, they can have him and this is exactly what I was talking about at, uh, at the start, Asher Hunter who as you might have seen in the couple, last couple of episodes, he has annoyed me to the wits end. I am, I, I just don't think he's my kind of player. What is a left midfielder? He hasn't got the pace to be a, a right, uh, a left winger like uh, Asante is. And I've got younger people coming through. He, I don't think he can. He can probably crack the seventies, but just barely. I'm thinking if we want to do a little bit of bit of business we have to do something like this and to be honest he's on the bench I very very rarely bring him in and we've also got Armstrong and Burgess I'm sure I could even train Burgess up to be a left winger we'll see so they'd be willing to play 1.35 that's just a bit of his value I wonder would they go up to 1.5 that would be a perfect amount for me I don't want to jeopardize this at all even one mil would be would get as a really decent player. Do you know what that selling cause? That's pretty decent as well. I don't think it's going to amount to much, but still. Anyway, guys, I am going to accept that. I tried to get a little bit more. I got a selling cause at least, I suppose. Spark Rotterdam. It looks like if Hashi Hunter accepts his contract, he might believe him. Holy shit. It's the first offer for our striker, James Wilson, who, 
to my surprise, I have used, I did use James Wilson last year when I did a Salford Secret, but like behind the scenes, uh, before I did YouTube, and this guy was a bit of a flop, he just didn't get going, he, he scored maybe one or two goals in the Cups, but I bought like a striker in. This season, he has been fantastic for us. He's 25, 6'6 six, six overall, I think he can get a little, little bit better. I mean, I don't know if he's going to be a striker going up to League One Championship, but he could definitely be a utility player. Maybe we'll sell him on in the future. If we're selling off onto, I don't think we need to sell off James Wilson. I'm going to reject, straight out reject that. At least this season, he, he is going to stay, unless we get an absolutely outstanding offer for him. A little bit more play, play training here. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, our first departure, our first major departure of January, Sparta Rotterdam has picked up Ashley Hunter, our 25 year old midfielder, so he is off the books. I've got to say thank you for your services Ashley Hunter, now we can actually look for someone decent and hopefully, hopefully we can uh, buy someone, Not maybe not for the first team, but someone who can be in the rotation. Okay, we're not going to be signing anyone in this uh, straight away because I've, I'm, I'm having to scout a few players. So, again, we will probably see this one. It's a very low team, so I hope we can get a job done here. We've got to. Come on. Away from our stadium. 2-0 Palmer and Wilson gets the job done. Thank God for that. We will be playing a couple of games in this episode, but I want to get through the games what we don't really have to play, like the lower rated teams. Hopefully we can get the job done there. So as you can see there, we are 11 points clear Cambridge and we're all on level games now. We are 12 clear Stevenage. We are honestly, it would take a miracle for us to absolutely blow this. Torre. Torre has been officially loaned out for two years to Crawley Town. That is a big, big one for us because that means we got someone out. Hopefully if he can get some first game time there that'll do him some good and if not it's someone who can come back and we can sell him on and get and use that money we are getting towards the end of January so we will be doing some transfer business in this episode hopefully and signing someone uh, we might it might be have to be on deadline day but we'll see oh another offer someone I have got on Transfer list. We are in for another midfielder. I am probably going to try and get a tiny bit more out of them. Maybe not that much. Maybe 600. And don't go less than 511. Five just now. Give a little bit extra for him. We could do all the money we can to get like a, a very decent player. As you can see, I am scouting a few people and we're starting to see some stuff for them these are some players that I am looking at so we're gonna probably play the next game and then hopefully we'll have some uh, values and stuff for them so we can see at least the uh, Rangers are we're not gonna get the full scouts unfortunately but we are gonna play the first game of the episode finally finally get into it and you know what my first team's absolutely fit as anything so I am not gonna change a thing uh, actually one thing I do need to do, and I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I don't do it. Let's do this right now. Let's make us official. I'm sorry, James, you're on loan. I've got to start giving the time to James Wilder. You can go on the bench. So, a two, two overall downgrade, but James Wilder, when he's played, he's played fantastically. Let's do this. So, here we are, back at home. We did a lot of away games in the last episode, I realised. But here we are against Morecambe. I don't think we faced them a season. I don't, I don't think I've played them. This is an interesting game. This is, a again, every game we win, we are getting closer to the title. It's a very wet and windy day, obviously, at the Peninsula Stadium. Like it is in England right now. It's horrible. <laughs> in a way, I, some, I don't know if I'm just weird for this, but I kind of like the weather when it's like this because... It's prime gaming weather. It's like you've got a good excuse to not go outside. <laughs> Even though right now we shouldn't be going outside. But you know what I mean. I did have to go out earlier, but that was fun. <laughs> I 
do want to have a little look at the Morgan team, but here's the first team. Everything's the same apart from it's finally Looper, James Wilder in the time. Tom James goes to the bench. Obviously, Robbie Gotts, Palmer, Tyler midfield, that front three. Embiso, Bernard. Bernard is someone we're going to have to keep an eye out for because he's been so key. So, um, key. Um, Enjoy the game. Ben Pringle, I know. Uh, Knight Percival is quite good. Kevin Miller. Uh, Leverant, he used to play for Salford City last year. So, a uh, couple of players I know there. So here we go. Where is that Sorry. See if we can get off to the best start possible. Towel swings it out to Asante. Gets hit to Torre. He's got a bit of pace. He's going to get away from O'Sullivan. He's going to get his try and get his to the back post. Oh, it's a really good ball, but the goalkeeper just gets a fist on that. Oh my God, James Wilding. He's going to shoot! And just goes wide. He try, I tried to do a bit of a slice kick to kind of go in, out and then in, but uh, it just went, was going too, a bit too straight, to be honest. Oh, James Wilding putting on, dealing with two people. Price and Stockton causing havoc. James Wilding does really well there again. Hope he got bring us down. Thomas Sante picks it up. Brings the player over. And Thomas Sante. He's got a bit of space. He's going for a curler, but oh, Leveron makes it look easy. Oh, and Andrade does really good, but he doesn't. It's not really dropping for us at the moment. And Torre. Oh, he does brilliantly to deal with O'Sullivan. And he goes to Robbie Gotts. Oh, that is brilliant from Andrade. And James Wilden has got this. And I see Palmer. Can we get it to him? Yes, we can. It's going to come off the post. Oh, the goalkeeper was rooted to the spot. Oh, Palmer. He had the chance there. We still got the ball. But Asante was... And now, off on the, on the break. That oh what? No way! For God's sake! Did I not get the ball here? I mean, I'm not in front of that little tie car. I got the ball there. Oh, I needed someone else there. The hell! Oh my God, Asante, he's got that burst of pace. Palmer putting through. Can Asante finish this? No, he's hit the fucking post. It's hit the post again. Oh my God, it's hit, we've hit both posts. This is absolutely crazy right now. That was absolutely fantastic from Asante. The burst of pace to go between the defenders. Oh, but just again, we're getting so unlucky. Gonna play this out again. And I see James Warden. Wait for someone. And Robbie Gotts! Oh, that was such a nice move. Oh, we are we're turning on the style, but it's just the end product. Palmer trying to get that. Can't get it. Breach towel misses the interception. Oh no! Oh my god, he's missed it! Oh my god! That was my fault. I brought Bernardo. I should not have. And oh my god, I got a, I've got a car mile up there. This is a message for all away supporters. Andrade, he's not been in this game as much as I'd like. But he's got to put this one in. Oh my God, Robbie Cox! And what a save! Is he? Oh my God, the rebound! Oh my God! 
Leverin de denies his former club. I've got to say, that is just an absolutely fantastic save. You can't really say much more than that. Oh, and Wilson loses it. And literally, I swear to God, I've been wanting to make a sub for ages. And literally, the ball's not gone out in like fucking 30 minutes. This is ridiculous. Come on, can we count them now? I see Asante. Oh my God, this could be a big moment in the season. Asante! Thomas Asante! Come on, Salford City! Come on, Thomas! You fucking legend, Palmer, with the through ball. Finally, after all our pushing, all our defending, after the two post hits, Thomas Asante makes no mistake the second time around. That is fantastic. Look at that. Leveren has no chance. That is what I'm talking about. Oh my god, what an end to the half. That's a couple of times a season. Asante just come up with a massive goal. That was such a relief. We have been... I'm not going to say we've been the best team. I think it's been quite equal. But I think we edged it. Enough. We defended well. They had one big chance and they missed it. I think it would have been very upsetting for us. But I think out of everyone we deserve to win. But Thomas Santa, he gets it done again. He's so good when he's in front of goal. You have got to love games like that. Just a couple of questions. We'll have a little press conference afterwards. I think Armstrong's been struggling for me. I don't think he has. I think he's been very good when he's been playing, actually. Um, ended up in draw. Um, these lads. Oh, we we are sold for today. We go to the last minute. Oh, we definitely come under pressure. I was I was getting so worried about bringing players out, and I nearly got caught out. So here we are anyway. We are at transfer deadline day. And and we have got one million in the budget with 15 grand to have wage. I don't know if we... Uh, need about 10 grand of wage anyways for whoever we sign. I'm going to go a couple hours in to see if we get any more transfer offers. What could help us because obviously Lowe's possibly go in so that could help us so that's growing 600 grand for a 29 year old who doesn't play that often and we're going to get a younger guy in I said I've got Koiko as well who plays CDM so he can be my um, towels alternative we'll wait for him to come because then we've got a good another 500 grand to play with let's see if he's gone oh no it looks like J uh, Jason Lowe's going to be staying Okay, so unfortunately, I must have put the scar on a bit too late because literally we have no information on any of these players. <laughs> That's quite upset. Um, I mean, we can see some of the Rangers. Scott Pollock, I'm pretty sure he used to be a YouTuber <laughs> as well, so we could get that for the memes maybe. <laughs> Teddy Bishop, he was someone I was interested in. What I'm going to have to do is I kind of did it in the first chance window. I need, this is why I need to sometimes do my business a bit earlier and actually try and get something done. But the two players I was interested in was Teddy Bishop and Scott Pollock. These were the two major ones I was going to go for. Scott Pollock, basically, a bit of a meme, but also he's 19 with dynamic player potential. He could get up to a reasonable... He has got a 72 uh, rating potential, so... Teddy Bishop has a, I think, 75 maybe. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if they'll take... I'm going to put down maybe 700k for, for Teddy Bishop. I might get laughed out of room. If I do, then we're screwed. What I'll do, just... I don't want to play too safe. 750 for Teddy Bishop. An Ipswich midfielder are they going to laugh us out of the room I'm a bit worried yep yeah. see the thing is when I did this at the start and I, I had to redo it um, one of my players I got now 
and literally it was only like 50 grand under his value and they laughed me out of the room and this is one thing where I get really frustrated with career mode and, and FIFA in general. They go they, in, in the negotiations, they just run out even if it's a few hundred what they want. And it's ridiculous. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Um, Backinson, he was another midfielder. I was looking at it. We have got his values 1.7. I don't think we're going to make that happen. Fuck it. Let's go in for Scott Pollock. I say screw it. Let's do it. Um, I wonder if there's someone we can give them. George Boyd. Wow, we want Ditchfield. What about 50 grand plus Ditchfield? Because, to be honest, I think he's one of my lower rated players anyway. Yeah, we've. I'll, I'll be willing to give you that. Okay. Someone I was looking to get rid of anyway. That'll do is nicely. Um. The one thing I'm worried about is what will he want his wage? I don't think he'd be on the lot. I think he'd only be on a couple of grand a week, maybe. Sporadic. That is exactly what I want. Try and always get your players down to the lowest squad roll possible. Honestly, it'll help. Five-year deal just saves me giving him a new deal. Oh, for God's sake. I was just wanting him to give me his wage. Um, let me see what he's actually getting paid. He's like, apparently he's only getting $500. So you know what? Let me give him three grand. It's around what everyone else is getting paid. That's a reasonable offer. Scott Pollock, we've just signed a YouTuber. I'm going to have to check that, that back. I'm pretty sure he is a YouTuber. Or he was a YouTuber, anyway. 57 rated. He's worth 350 grand. I think he can get higher rated, so... This could be... It's a, I mean, this is not a big sign for his chance, but don't worry about it. I'm going to be signing someone else. But, oh my god. That's quite funny. The next player on my list, what I was going to go for, was Matty Willock. He is on... It's a 61 rated at the start of the game, so he probably, I would have thought he'd got a couple of rolls by now. So, I'm going to offer 500k. Hopefully, this gets the job done. I'll even add on a little bit of a selling cause just to kind of sweeten the deal. Come on, Gillingham. Oh my god, I just bought him! <laughs> no! I mean, you can have someone. Um, Manny? You can have Manny. Oh my god, we're about to do his deal. Emmanuel Desavoy, who has not really been playing. And we're going to get Matty Willock in return. I I'll take that every day. 24 years of, old, years of age. I'm pretty sure he can get a little bit high rated. Some of these players, obviously, they're going to be more rotational players. And down the line, they're most likely going to get sold. He's got a real in-game face as well. What really, it, it adds something for me. The more players running around my pitch with ga game faces... It's better for me. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same for... But I'm going to... Because obviously... Uh, no, actually. Give him three. Hopefully that is enough. Yes, it is. It's not exactly what you want to hear. You want to hear like... It's not quite what we were looking for. But what is he rated? Come on, please be good. 62 rated. Okay. He's worth 725. I, I am really surprised when I offered 500k. They did not walk out of that door. But that will do us nicely. What is he rated now, Kojo? See, he's still, he's like the same rated. He's the same rated, and he's actually younger. So, he could, he could get better, Robin Koiko. So, we'll see. So, we have finally signed a decent enough player. He's obviously not going to be a first team player. But, that is a really good put, good one for us. So, here it is. The little cutscene. Number 26. I might actually keep him at that number, actually. He's, he's an alright number. Really good face next to his new manager, me. That's not bad at all. But I hope he actually does grow quite nicely. He has got a potential of 68, so it's not got so much potential apparently. So we'll see. Let's have a little look at the... So we have still got 697 grand to spend. Do you know what I will do, guys? Because there's literally no one I really, really want. 
I'm going to put this money to good use. For someone for 225 grand right here, for our, one of our Youth Academy Scouts, sit 3 star each, that is quite nice to find. So what I'll do, I'll grab this guy, let's send him out just for 3 months, for the rest of the season. Where do we send him? Where, where, where's the other one? Uh, he's gone Wales, he's gone England. Let's uh, go a little bit more continental and a little bit more wide. Um, he's from Norway. Do you know what? Let's send him to his own nation. Let's see if we can find the next Solskjaer. Is it, is it, he is Norwegian, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he was. So I will do that. Because Francis Carter, honestly, he honestly deserves to get fired. If I'm being quite honest. How much money have I got after that? I've got 350. I'll probably keep that scout on and I'll probably keep that money for for contracts and stuff. To keep people happy. But anyway, that is going to be the, possibly the end of our. So I'm going to put these players. Make sure I've got the right numbers and everything. Scott Polk's number 25. Work. So hopefully these guys are going to get a bit more chance. Also, we have got another player, Denny, who's 20. He could, he'll probably come back next year and be a decent rotational player. He might have actually played against us in the last game, actually. See, Palmer, he's gone up two. He was around the same one as Willock, so he's growing quite nice. But anyway, let's advance. Not a, not a bad, bad deadline day, obviously. We're, we're not... Obviously, it's not bangers we're, we're signing. We're not signing £100 million deals yet. But this is what I love about this career mode. We'll be looking back on transfer windows like these where we're always spending a few hundred K on, and then going up to signing massive players for £100 million. Pounds. Look at the, uh, the biggest deal so far. Leon Goretzka to Barcelona. He is a beast on career mode. And a, oh my god. Paris FC wants our young player. I mean, I wouldn't consider it, but right at the end of the transfer window, what is the point? I'm sorry, my youth academy players are off limits until I until I say they they have not grown our one. They are not getting in my team anytime soon. That's the only time they are going to get sold. So we have got some scout reports here. Fitzgerald, he's got. Do you know what? I'm just going to release him because, honestly, there's no point. Hyde, he has got reasonably decent potential, I suppose. Lawrence, he has got very, very good potential. But he's getting trained up to be a centre mid, so we'll see. And we have got Schofield here. Is anyone decent here? Oh, Ingram, been scanning for a couple of months. Hood, it needs to be about 500 grand mark for me to, for me to sign him straight out. All around 200 at the moment. That is atrocious. Why are you even bothering? Why are you showing me these players? Ooh. Mate. Oh. Do you know what? Just because I doubt that many's Welsh. Get in there. Jesus. Oh, that value shite. That potential shite. Lee Hughes. No, I'm, I'm go I'll keep scouting him, but. Jesus Christ. I can't wait till we've got a little bit more money and I can really just get rid of them, them sh fucking scouts. Especially at one star. It honestly makes a big difference, but... Possibly next season I might spend the majority of my budget on that. So, ooh. Burger City hasn't gone up in overall, though. It's a bit disappointing. What we'll do is I'm going to put uh, my new players on a bit of a development plan. Hopefully get their uh, overalls up a little bit more. Uh, playmaker, that would be brilliant for Scott Pollock. Look at, as a C CM, you have to have good passing. He's got decent, he's got 61 passing, but he hasn't got great curve. He hasn't got great free kick. Shit crossing, shit vision. Bad long shots, and I take a lot of shots from my midfielders. Stamina as well will always be a good one to have on. So you can do that. And we'll look, let's see. This development plan. I've kind of always just realised this in this career mode. But it's good. It's how you kind of train each um, stat. Um, so what's he worst at? He's shooting really, isn't it? Uh, 
Sounds quite good. Box to box, maybe. Oh, that playmaker one as well. His, his pass is quite bad. I need their passing up to scratch because that's honestly something that really does piss me off. So let's... Uh, what we'll do as I'll play this last match against Mansfield, that'll be the end of the episode. I am going to try and get to... What we'll do probably is this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode. But this will be because I want to try and stick to the um, month monthly per episode kind of thing. But now that we're out of the chance window, we have just got league games. And honestly, I don't know how many we could possibly get uh, a month and a half to two months out of the way in one episode. Possibly, I'm going to keep playing this. Please, five likes on this video when it comes out. If you smash five likes on this video, I will upload the next seat episode of the Salford City career mode straight away. That is a promise. I'll be keeping an eye out. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm a Hawkeye Punisher. Thank you for watching, guys. Catch you next time.